Welcome to Drama GCC at Nicholas Chamberlain School. My name is Mr Squirewood and I'm one of the drama teachers here at Nicholas Chamberlain and I will be taking you through a deeper look into the GCC course and what we have to offer as a drama department. But before I do anything, I wanted to point you to the following quote on your screen by British theatre practitioner Peter Brook. I can take any empty space and call it a bare stage. A man walks across this empty space while someone else is watching and this is all that is needed for an act of theatre to be engaged. This quote summarises why I love this subject so much as it highlights how acts of theatre and performativity surround us all. Performance is not only found within the theatre but touches all parts of everyday life. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the EDUCAS GCC drama course. The course is split into three components. These components combine to make your overall grade at the end of year 11. Component one, titled Devising Theatre, Ask pupils to create and develop a piece of theatre from a stimulus. A stimulus being a starting point or a piece of inspiration. This could include a piece of artwork, a poem, a song, or even something that you've seen on social media. Pupils will be asked to create a performance based on this stimulus alongside a written devising log, where we will analyse and evaluate their rehearsal process and the final, final performance. The component provides pupils with a choice to explore either performance elements or the design elements of theatre. Component 2. Performing from a text. Pupils will explore two extracts of a given text. This component enables pupils to engage with exciting and relatable play scripts, challenging them to bring the writer's words to life and tell the story of the characters on stage. Once more, pupils have the choice of exploring performance or design elements. Component three, described as interpreting theatre, provides pupils with the opportunity to explore play scripts from a different perspective. Pupils will be tested on their knowledge of and understanding of drama and theatre while studying one set play from a choice of six. This component also offers pupils opportunity to evaluate a live theatre performance where we, as a department, take our GCC group to see a professional production, which is always a great opportunity, as any chance to get ourselves to the theatre is fantastic. We then review the performance as a part of this component. This is, a, this is assessed in a written exam at the end of Year 11. The question often posed to drama teachers is, where can drama take me? And the answer is anywhere. Drama is naturally flexible and enables you to develop multiple skills that are valued in a workplace for later life. Skills such as communication skills, problem solving, teamwork, self-discipline, leadership skills, respect, adaptability and flexibility, working under pressure, confidence and determination. These skills allow for drama pupils to go into a number of different areas of work. Some are listed on the screen now, but I could have listed many more. The subject truly has no limits. Finally, drama is a subject that often scares pupils. My job is to help with those fears. But if I could give a piece of advice, it is this. Don't follow the crowd and be the same as everyone else. Challenge yourself. Drama can take you anywhere. Where will it take you?